Hello everybody, it's Kyla here and today in this video I'm going to show you a free training on how to get this menu bar up here at the top to stick in your ClickFunnels account. So as you can see as I scroll down this logo and the menu bar still stays at the top. Now I just threw this page together really quickly for the purpose of this video but you guys can see what is happening here and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video so if that is something you would like then stay tuned so I'm actually going to exit out of full screen here for a sec and I'm going to go over into the page editor in ClickFunnels and I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom of the page so you can see me do this all from scratch. So I'm going to start by adding a full width section in ClickFunnels. So we'll be dealing, let's add one more so we kind of have some space to work with. Okay, so we're going to be working with this section right here. Okay, actually, I lied. I'm a liar. We're going to add a new section to the very top. So I am just clicking on sections, add section, and then I drag the section up here to the top. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on add new row and then I'm going to select two columns. Now you can see by default once it builds the row in ClickFunnels, the section is the full width of the page, but the row is not. And so we want that row to stretch out as far as possible to the edge of the page. So to do that, we're going to actually go into the section, which is the turquoise green. The row is the dark blue. We're going to click on settings. And then here in the bottom right hand corner, we're going to click on get CSS info and click the pound sign. Then right here where we have CSS ID selector, we're going to copy command C, this whole thing right here in the CSS ID selector. Get out of that and then up here in the top left we're going to click on settings and scroll down to custom CSS. And we're just going to lower that. So, and this is the code actually we're going to be working with. It's really simple um, so anyone, anyone can do this. And so right now we're going to copy and paste that well, that CSS ID selector right here into the custom code. And then we are also going to type period container inner. And yes, the capitalization does matter. So container is all lowercase and then the I is uppercase and inner. Then we're gonna do curly bracket and curly bracket, okay? So this is the one, two, and three. That's what we're working with here. And then as you can see down here below, I'm going to type in width colon 100 percent. You can see right there, it popped the row out to the very edges. And then we're also gonna add this And because we have the two curly brackets, that's contained. So as you can see here, now the row goes out all the way to the very edges of the page, which is what we want. But we don't, all, we don't want our rows to be even here. So we're actually gonna grab this middle section and move it over just a tad. And right here is where we're going to add our image and where you as a funnel builder can add your logo or title or whatever it is you want for your business. And then right here in this element, I'm gonna click on that and scroll down all the way here to content blocks and click on navigation. So then it pulls up this navigation bar. So from this navigation bar, if you click on settings, you can change the names or the link text. So we can add like testimonials, and you can add the link in there, pricing, order now, stuff like that. And I'm actually gonna scroll down here and make the font a little bit bigger. 
and I'm going to scoot it down. One thing also too is you can come into an advanced for this navigation bar and on a line you can click right and it will scoot that over. So now you can see we have our navigation bar and we have the image. So to add your logo you could click on image, go over here into the image settings and right now again I'm just going to add in this computer image so you can see and I've added the image. Now this section is really wide. We don't really want it wide because this is the section that's going to be sticky on the page. So we're going to go into the sections padding and we're going to bring that all the way down to zero. Okay. And then also for the row, we also want that to be a little bit less. So we're going to do that to five. And you can see the image is having a hard time fitting. And this is the image I had when I showed you at the beginning of the video. So to adjust that, if I want the image just a little bit smaller, and now my computer is frozen. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna click on image and bring this down to like 100 pixels. There we go. So that's what it looks like you can change the coloring of your navigation bar down here by again clicking on settings, scrolling down, and changing the color here so we can leave that blue. And then the final step is you're going to go into settings for the row. Oh, sorry, excuse me. You're going to go into settings settings for the section, not the row, and right here where it says sticky, you're going to click on stick to top on scroll. And save that. So if I get rid of this section here that I already created. Oh, one thing too also you guys, before I go ahead and preview this. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you have the background of the section set to what you want because actually here I'll show you what it looks like. So this, if I click on preview of the page, and as you guys can see as I scroll down here, that stays on the top of the page. Now it's sometimes hard to read your navigation bar here as I scroll down, but if you like that, then that's great. But to change that or to adjust it, I'm going to go back into the editor. For the section, I'm going to go in and click on background color and make it white. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and save that, waiting for it to update. Then we're going to click preview. And on the initial page, once it's load, once it loads, you won't see any difference. But as I start to scroll, now you can see that the background has now been made white. And as I scroll, the images disappear into that top bar. So this is a really great option um, for if you're wanting to use ClickFunnels for more of a website build. Um, and it's, it's simple, it allows your customers to constantly have that option to click on this and go into your testimonials or your pricing or your order form. That is an easy way to do that. So if this video was helpful, if you guys enjoyed this, please feel free to like, subscribe. I put out videos every single week. Thank you so much for being here on my channel. I really appreciate you guys and you have a great day. Bye.